What is lab-grown meat and is it the future of food? Eating meat is a big part of our diet and our culture, but there are also some major health and environmental concerns. Scientists have recently found ways to create meat in labs. Cultured meat is actually genetically identical to meat. So if you take a cow for example, scientists use cow's stem cells, which are the building blocks of muscles and organs, to kick off the process. They are placed in a petri dish and then we add carbohydrates and amino acids to enable the growth of cells. So once enough muscle fiber have grown, the scientists have a substance that resembles ground beef. But beyond beef, we now have cultured chicken, duck and fish products that are also currently being developed. And researchers are also exploring the possibilities of using cell agriculture to create eggs, milk and leather. The biggest promise of lab-grown meat is a reduced impact on the environment. Lab-grown beef, for instance, requires 99% less land use and 45% less energy use. It also produces 96% fewer greenhouse gas emissions. In fact, cutting meat consumption is currently the number one thing we can all do to improve and reduce our environmental impact as humans. Lab grown meat could also be healthier for us, given that scientists can alter features like fat content to suit consumer needs. When you consume lab grown meat, it also won't include antibiotics and you don't need to worry about microplastics in fish, for example. Lab grown meat might even reduce the risk of zoonotic diseases like COVID-19 because of the reduced interaction between humans and factory farms. The key challenge at the moment is making it less expensive. So as the technology improves and larger and more efficient production facilities are created, we can expect prices to decrease steadily to a point where lab-grown meat could even be cheaper than the meat we have today. In 2020, the American company Eat Just passed a safety review by the Singapore Food Agency for its Chicken Bites product. And the restaurant 1880 in Singapore became the first place to sell cultured meat on the menu. I expect that this initial approval could lead to a widespread production and distribution of various types of lab-grown meat products in many different countries. I will definitely be keeping a very close eye on this development around cultured meat. If you're interested in future trends, subscribe to my channel or have a look at my, my book Business Trends in Practice in which I have an entire chapter on how we feed ourselves and what it means for the future. Also, check out my website and my podcast.